I have taken a break. Uh, I needed to take a mental health break. Um, I am now taking anxiety medication, which has helped. Um, I can tell. Other people in my life can tell that I'm a lot calmer, and that's good. I am thinking about getting some CBD oil and vaping it. Uh, so, would you like to come say hi? No. Come up. Say hello. Mm. Say hello. <laughs> it's okay. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, she's grouch and she's upset that people are vacuuming upstairs. Anyway, that's Missy. Um, so, let's get to the original point of all of this. The original point of all of this, talking about, anyway, people who are not well, my stalker has, in her own way, tried to force me back to the internet. She doesn't understand that stalking is about control. Stalking is about control. And she thinks she can control me by the way she's tried to control me. She's now spoofing calls. Um, that's fine. She can do that. Um, I can't control what she does. And do I mean that it's fine? No, I don't mean that it's fine. But I can't control it. That's what I mean. Um, it's stalking. Stalking is wrong. It's a means to intimidate. It's a means to control. It's a means to get me to back to play whatever game she thinks this is. I don't know why she wants me back on the internet. I do not understand what she thinks this is if she just likes to see me if she just likes to i do think all of what happened on my other channel had to do with um her a lot of it did again do i think it had everything to do with her did, do i think there weren't other people involved no but she enjoyed engaging in torturing me and drama and she enjoyed seeing me upset so which I'm not going to lie. I'm on anxiety medication now, so it's going to be a lot harder for her to <laughs> upset me. Um, so, it, it's just, this is just sick behavior. She's a sick person. This is a sick person. Well, people do not do this. Normal people do not do this. Normal people do not try to spoof calls from one of the locations had to do with the um, first topic. So, I'm not a drug addict. I don't take drugs unless they're prescribed to me. And the only one that is at this point is an anxiety medication. And it's not even a controlled anxiety medication like a a Ambien or Valium or something. Like, it's not even like that. It's not a serious, you know, where, um, you know... It's not a controlled substance. So, I'm not a drug addict. I I'm not. I don't smoke weed. I'm I don't. I don't drink alcohol. I don't. So, I am not a an addict in any form or fashion. Do I have addiction issues? Like, is the addiction in my heritage? Yes. It was hard to quit smoking. It was hard to... I don't have an alcohol problem. I don't have a drug problem. Well, smoking is a drug. So, I do have that, I guess. Nicotine is a substance, let's be fair. So, it is a drug. I have a drug problem. I, it's, this is our AA meaning. <laughs> Hello. I, I have a drug problem. So, that was my drug of choice, is nicotine. Why, I don't know. I, I don't even, I can't even explain it. Is that what addicts say? That they don't, although they say they like what it does. But I can't even name what nicotine does. For me, it was more anxiety re reducing. So I guess that's what I like that what it did is relieve my anxiety. There we go. My name is N-Word Girl. I like to smoke cigarettes and vape nicotine because it relieved my anxiety. So there we go. Um, I have an inner alcoholic. I'm not going to lie about that. I don't drink, but I'll, if I see like on Facebook and scroll and they'll have the liquor that looks really pretty and looks really good, 
yeah, that does something to me inside. But I don't, like, even if you sat me at a, 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 dar, a bar, I wouldn't drink like that. Like, I'm a lightweight, as fat as I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lightweight. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that is. Like, I'd never, you, you know, even if you gave me, and I bet bought, I've purchased liquor in the past, or like, my favorite is tequila. I like a good tequila. And wine, that's my thing. Wine and tequila. Uh, I like margaritas. But even then, yeah, that did something to me. But, <laughs> that sounds good. But even then, like, I would not drink to act the excess. Like, I never got drunk. I don't like being drunk. I, that's why I would never want to do marijuana. I don't like being high. Like, when you take a vape, like a puff of cigarettes, and it's like that rush, that nicotine rush, I hate it. It makes me feel sick. Like, I don't I don't like that. That's not my thing. I don't, and I feel high when you just, you know, and it's just like, oh, my goodness. I have to lie down. And, like, I don't like it. It's not my thing. So I don't like being drunk, and I don't like being high. But I like nicotine. Nicotine was my thing. It's my thing. It stopped. It paused. Because I, when I blinked. But, yeah, we're getting an Apple, an iPhone 14 next time. So, itchy, 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 itchy. So, anyway, I don't. That's my problems on the table. But, um, what was I saying? Stalking. That's what we are talking about. Just a sick person. I'll just say this for the record. I don't want to kill myself either. So, if rumors start going around or there's any attempts on my person, you'll know what it is. Because I don't want to kill myself. Someone else might want to kill me, but I don't want to kill me. So there's that. Um, someone else is a nut. I am a regulated nut. I am a nut who is on medication. I wouldn't say I'm a nut. I'm, I'm neurotic. Very high anxiety and all that stuff. But it's helping. This medication is helping. So there's that. Um... I wouldn't call myself a nut. Like, I'm not a crazy person who goes on the internet to search for people to harass because I feel like I need to control them. Even in my worst days of being on social media, me at my worst, I don't wish to control people. Have I lashed out at people? Yes. Have I projected on people? Yes. Have I acted out of anger? Have I acted out of... Not having much of a backbone, yes. Uh, insecurity, yes. But not control. And, feel like, I can't... I don't care enough about someone to find out their phone number and then spoof numbers to look like some recovery center is calling them. There's not one person I care that much about. Just, just don't. Um... I don't care where people live. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care where they work. I, I don't care because I'm not insane. I'm not a sick person. You could call me a nut, but I'm not a sick person. I've never been a sick person. Just just not, ha I've never been a sick person. Um, would not have been allowed <laughs> to be a sick person. So I would have been in some institution somewhere if I had just done half of the things that the sick person who is obsessed with me does. Um, and this goes into a conversation I want to have. Never believe the lie that men are the only dangers. They're, they're not. Um, this is a woman who has trauma issues most likely, but is a sick person who refuses to fix herself she just distracts herself with me. And then when I don't play her game the way she wants me to play, 
And I don't understand that, that she just wants me to come back so she could torture me, I guess. But, okay. Uh, or watch my channel and because I'm not putting up content for her to watch. She's going to go through other channels, which is her pattern. This is her pattern. She's done this before. Um, so, which has been documented, by the way. It's been documented. Um, don't ever get it twisted. And it's all being documented. It's all been saved in a file, a physical file. So it can't be lost. Um, just a sick person. And this person masquerades as a victim that I have done something to her. I don't think, I don't know at this point if that's what she would say, that I've done something to her. But I would like to know what I'm doing when I'm not doing anything to her. <laughs> She's the one trying to get in contact with me. And she's obsessed with my every move. She's obsessed with everything that I do. She's obsessed when I'm not there. Again, she becomes obsessed when I delete channels. That's the last time she tries stuff like this, is she wants me to come back. So I guess she could keep track of me so she could monitor me. And she can't. So she'll... I don't know. It's it's just nuts. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's sick behavior. It's a sick person. Normal people don't do this. If you don't like someone, when normal people don't like someone, yes. If someone has hurt you deeply, it's normal to think about it, especially if they betrayed you or you knew them for a very long time. But they don't then go on for years. Maybe a couple months. You might look at their Facebook or something or think about them at the very least. But not for years. They don't, also they don't monitor them for years. They don't do that. Uh, they don't try to spoof calls. They don't try to text them. They don't try to do all of these things. And the reason people like this, the sick person, um, whenever I say, and I do mean that it's being documented, the reason people like this don't care is because they don't believe the rules apply to them. They think it's funny what they're doing. As I never I never knew this person. I did, never knew them beyond messaging on Twitter, which is now X, and Facebook. I never was on the phone. I never was, you know... A sick person and I don't know it's just weird it's just very weird and I I don't make these videos for her because she's not going to it's it's not gonna permeate anything within this sick person um because she thinks this is funny or she sees herself as a virtuous victim that she that I deserve everything that I have gotten and that everything she's doing is within her right to do, which is not. Stalking is a crime. Harassment is a crime. Um, anyway. That's all I had to say, really. There is a video I, I want to make, but I don't have the bandwidth to do it now. So I will see you all later.